everybody out there in hot rod land it's phil with car craft classics coming to you once again with a, a beautiful piece of uh, new inventory for us a beautiful 1954 cadillac series 62 sedan check that thing out what a beautiful car all right before we get into the details and of the car for anybody who's watching one of my videos for the first time, again, my name is Phil. This is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road. We're in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. The phone number is 470-239-4977. I can be reached on my cell as well at 770-317-1415. Our email is carcraftclassics at gmail.com and don't forget to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com we're also on Facebook and Instagram at Carcraft Classics. really excited about this um, I'm a caddy guy I have to admit I've been a Cadillac guy my whole life one of my first cars was a 1976 Cadillac Seville wasn't half as nice as this beautiful ride, but kind of stamped me a Cadillac guy. Not that I don't love Chevys and Fords and all those. I do, but uh, but this one's near and dear to my heart. It was brought to us by uh, a local gentleman who uh, brought the car to us on consignment. This 1954 Cadillac was uh, first sold in West Virginia has some documentation I want to show you here in a minute but uh, again it began its life in West Virginia and at some point it changed hands and came recently uh, to Marietta Georgia which is where my customer purchased the car from we believe it to have all its original sheet metal as you can see the body is in great shape I don't see rust bubbles or any issues to address at all. Yes, there's a couple scratches. You see one beneath the body side molding there. There are a few nicks and scratches. It isn't perfect, but man, for a 54 Cadillac, this thing is in excellent, excellent, excellent shape. All the bright work is there, and it appears to be in excellent shape as well. I guess you could pull every piece of chrome off this car and completely restore everything, strip the paint down to the metal, and put a $20,000 paint job on the car, but I just don't think this is the right candidate for that. This car looks great as it is. Hopefully that's showing up on the video. And it's got all its original drivetrain. I was told that the paint was original. Uh, I do see some spots that have been touched up, so I would imagine that it's not all original. But I believe it to be an original black car. It's got gorgeous original interior. We'll get to that in just a minute. And the drivetrain is all original. So again, I don't see it as a candidate for uh, for a full restoration. But of course, that's up to you, the buyers out there. We just put a brand new battery in it. Fluids have been changed. Still got its original generator. And it still has that gorgeous new, let's see here, hopefully there's not too many shadows, but it still has its gorgeous original 331 cubic inch V8 motor. I believe in 54, this engine produced 230 horsepower, which was quite a bit for, uh, for that time and day. Got the original air cleaner on it, oil style air cleaner. So cool how they did things back in the day. Got the original radiator. The car recently went underwent a little bit of a, a test. The owner of the car took it, I guess, about 40 minutes south uh, for a nice long ride down the highway. And uh, she passed with flying colors. For all those Cadillac purists, yes, we have the original glass bottle that uh, is used for, I believe, the washer fluid. 
look down there and look at those exhaust manifolds. Any of you guys and gals out there that watch my videos you know I'm a sucker for clean exhaust manifolds. But the engine compartment on this car is just in excellent shape. On 54, they offered power brakes. So this car does have the power brake system. Uh, it also has power steering. It has like a deluxe interior. You'll see here in just a moment. It does not have AC. Sorry about that. Let's see. Look down there and see those exhaust manifolds, just how clean this car really is. Looks like the coil back there was replaced. Parts along the way, of course, have been replaced. I'm sure the tires have been replaced. She is mostly original. It's got the Hydromatic transmission, automatic. Wait till I show you the gear shift indicator. No park back in '54 for these Cadillacs. Two drive gears, reverse, a low, and neutral. Don't leave it on a hill. You never slow this thing down if it starts rolling. But man, the feel, the way these caddies go down the road, it's unlike any vehicle out there. Super soft glide, gliding feel to the drive of this car. Turn that steering wheel with one finger. You can hardly hear the engine running. It's like an old sewing machine. Luxury at its finest. You know, remember back in the 50s, Cadillac was, you know, competing with some of the coach built cars, you know, those European cars that really, really were super high end so they did all they could to put all the gadgets and improvements uh, both performance and appearance improvements on these cars so that they could compete and boy in my opinion they did a great job that factory tinted windows hopefully you can see on the video it has like a green little tint to it just in love with this car can you be in love with a car i think you can Look at this nice piece of trim molding that runs from the top of the rear doors down to the bottom. So sweet. It's like my son left a few swirl marks in that paint we're going to have to get out. But paint really shows well. I mean, for a long car like this, I don't see any spots where they used excess filler or anything like that. you got the white walls and the hubcaps and the side skirts on the rear man this thing is cool i like to take this bad boy on a trip across the country exhaust one of the things i read in the, in the brochure for this car which i do have the original sales brochure i'll show you in a moment one of the improvements they did was uh the exhaust ports were turned to round instead of uh you know, i guess like an oblong shape they did an improvement one of those things uh that one of those were listed as the improvements of 54. Again, all the bright work is in great shape. Got the old West Virginia Classic plate on it. That will go with the vehicle. Hard for me to believe this rubber around the trunk is original just because it's in such good shape. So it's possible that was replaced. Check this out. How do you put gas in the 54 Caddy? Push the button, and it's down in the tail light. How cool is that? When you're done, you just flip it down, and you're ready to roll. The level of luxury in these vehicles is unsurpassed. Got the original jack instructions still stuck under the trunk lid. The insulation on the trunk lid is all in great shape. I mean, this car was well, well, well taken care of. Appears to be the original jack there. Excuse my sniffles. Got a little bit of a runny nose. Sorry about that. Got the original jack, the original carpet inside the trunk. 
And look at that. The original spare. Bias ply tires, I presume. Somebody did a little minor restoration on this car because some things appear to be really, really in great shape, which that's nice for the next owner because I'm sure it's not cheap to restore this car, any part of it. So let's see, documentation, what do we have? Super cool for the gearhead out there that loves Cadillacs like me. Got the shop manual from 54. We got what appears to be either the original title or maybe a title that was issued shortly after the car was purchased because I believe the date on that is 57 or 58. Again, it came from West Virginia. It's a Series 62 Cadillac sedan. Here's another title that was issued somewhere along the way. So we have plenty of uh, title documentation for the new owner. And how cool is this? This is an original sales brochure for the 1954 Cadillac line. Let's read over real quick some of the cool improvements for 54. New low roof silhouette, new license plate lights, new wider rear window, new deck lid, new rear bumper and guards, tail light fins, circular exhaust ports, hood ornament, Headlamp visors, we got to check that out. We're going to take another look up front and look those things over. New grill styling, new front bumper and guards, uh, wheel discs, I presume they mean wheel covers, new lower hood and fender lines, new cowl air intake, new roof overhang, new panoramic windshield, new door styling, new overhanging door reveal moldings, new all around visibility. Just so cool. And look at this now. I noticed while I was going through this brochure that it must have been the salesman while they were talking to the owner. They wrote down the price of the vehicle. How cool is that? I have to pay us a little bit more than that. I'm sorry, but 4720 bucks back in the day got you a 54 Cadillac. Can you imagine? So anyway, the truck's in excellent shape. Some original parts back here. Super cool. Super cool. There's the rear view. I will not get on the ground and crawl around and show you the undercarriage here on the video. But if you keep an eye on our site, I will get it up in the air. We'll put it on the lift. And uh, we'll get some shots of the undercarriage for you. We'll also do still shots without shade and, you know, at the right angles uh, of the exterior, the interior. Like I said, the undercarriage, the engine compartment, we'll get it all for you. This video is just to help those that can't get here to the shop that might possibly be interested in the car. Just make sure we touch all the angles here. Man, this thing is so beautiful. This is a work of art. So on the interior, it's got like a, a gray and a spearmint green, like a light, light green color combination. The fabric seems to be gray, and all the metal tops of the doors and the dash are in this cool spearmint green color. I mean, just staggeringly gorgeous could sleep back here matter of fact i might sleep back here no i'm just kidding all right let's see we got the ashtray doesn't look like it's been used very much again it's a green and gray combo hopefully that's showing up on the video just gorgeous and it does appear to be the original interior including the headliner interior light does work super slick look at this fabric get you a close up on that it's not torn a couple buttons have come loose they have them tied down Look at the styling on this thing. Man, it's beautiful. 
It's America right here, baby. Wrap around back windshield, little vent windows, as you can see, that are you're able to open those in addition to your regular roll down windows in the rear. You can see this is no rust bucket. Look at the bottom of the doors. All the original welds and seams are there. Looks like the sill plates have seen better days, but uh, I'm sure that's replaceable. The rockers are good. Listen to that door close. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get up front here. Again, a dead giveaway when you're looking at these classic cars is the bottoms of the doors. There's a lot of rust started there on a lot of GM products, not just caddies, C10 trucks, and all the other stuff that we sell. And this car just doesn't have that. Trim is in excellent shape. Even all the door handles are there. Nothing's hanging off. Nothing's missing. I have a feeling this car might end up going overseas. They have an insatiable appetite for these classic luxury vehicles, just like I do. Got some really good customers over there, and hopefully they'll get a chance to look at this car and possibly put in a an offer. I just can't say enough about the, uh, the fabric. I know there's all shadows. I apologize for that, but we'll get you still shots of the interior. Normally I call the engine compartment on these vehicles the jewelry box. But I gotta be honest, on this car it might be on the interior. Look at that dash. The only thing I'm aware of that's not working is the radio and possibly that uh, that um, clock over there. But the dash has no cracks. Obviously, this car was stored in a climate-controlled area indoors. And look at that dashboard. That's the jewelry box, baby. Speedo does work. To my knowledge, the gas gauge and temperature gauges work. Carpet seems to be a little newer. I'm not sure if it's new or just well taken care of. My son just did the detail and the floor was a wreck, but uh, we got it cleaned up. And take a look at those little speakers and the kick panels. The original Cadillac mats, which... We got them as clean as we could, but I wouldn't dare get rid of them. I got the Cadillac logo there. Super cool. Got the door tag right there. She is a beauty. Let's fire this baby up. Lights do work. Mileage, it's showing 21,859. I presume that that is 121 but I don't have any documentation to uh, to either back that up or or deny it but let's take a look listen to this baby <laughs> can hardly even hear that thing running Our antenna is not working because I think because the radio is not working. But I'm not really sure. All right. So let's take a look here at some of those newer Cadillac innovations for 54. Look at all that bright work, the wraparound windshield they talked about, the little visor. Maybe a little side view of that visor hanging over the, the wraparound windshield. A little scuff mark on that bright work. The newly redesigned grill. The headlight visors we talked about before. With that beautiful hood ornament. <coughs> Looks like she's moving. She's sitting still. All right, everybody. So as you've heard me say in other videos, we can help with financing can help with delivery and customization. Although on this car, 
I'm not sure there would be anything to do. It's all there, and it's in great shape. The asking price on this 1954 Cadillac Series 62 sedan is going to be 27,500. 27,500. So again, my name is Phil. Feel free to give me a call at 770-317-1415. I'll be glad to answer any questions I can uh, I can help you with. And if you want to come on down and schedule a test drive, let me know. I can help you again with financing, and we can put this thing right in your driveway. Delivery is not an issue. 